The next frontier really is in the use of robotics and automation for high throughput workflows, both in experiments and in theory, coupled with machine learning and optimization to accelerate materials research. So this really was the essence of the AMDM program. It is funded by the Agency for Science, Technology and Research in ASTAR, and it's a national level multi-university research program. So this brings together ASTAR research institutes focusing on materials research, machine learning and applications, as well as the two local universities in Singapore, National University of Singapore, NUS, and Nanyang Technological University, NTU. In the past year, we have spent uh, quite a bit of effort building this uh, high throughput uh, automated synthesis system to make uh, solution and thin film uh, samples. And we want to use uh, AI machine learning to help to accelerate the development of, of uh, these uh, material systems. The robotics synthesis platform uh, can be used to synthesize materials uh, in both solution and thin film. So uh, solution synthesis include uh, small molecules and polymer synthesis and also uh, nanocrystals. And then uh, thin films uh, can be used to make uh, thin film semiconductors, um, uh, catalysts, uh, battery materials or thermoelectric materials. We try to accelerate this process by a 5 to 10 times for the traditional trial and error methodology. The lab environment is a very challenging one, even for humans, let alone robots. So any help that we can give them in the form of letting the robot recognize certain parts of the lab, samples, more easily, we have to help the robot to be accustomed to a wide variety of materials processes. It saves us time, it saves us man hours. In a material science lab, a research lab especially, we do one million things once. And so things change very quickly and our hardware has to keep up with that. We can change our hardware very quickly. The moment experiment changes, we build something new, we integrate it, and that's how we are streamlining the uh, experimental design workflow process. Uh, in recent years, uh, there's been a large open source hardware movement and development of many uh, programmable logic controllers that are very accessible. And so every time someone develops something new, we can integrate it. We also share with the world uh, what, what we develop here and together we can build this whole ecosystem that is uh, helping each other do better materials research. To accelerate the materials design process, we need a large amount of data. And experiments, as efficient as you can make them, are still limited by sort of their physical nature. Simulations are not necessarily limited by this physical nature. They're limited by how fast the computer can run its computations, or how much computational power we can throw it. Using machine learning on the large amount of data we can generate from simulations, we can develop models that connect, say, composition to phase, and then phase to mechanical properties. The value proposition here in uh, simulations is not necessarily to replace experiments, but to say, before you go into the lab, we've already marked down some areas of interest. Here's a region of this very complex space space, which seems very promising, very interesting. When we think of a chemistry lab, what we typically imagine is a lot of flasks and glassware and burners. But the chemistry lab of the future doesn't look anything like that. What it looks like is machinery that you will see, light sources, pumps, computers, and a small place where you do hundreds of experiments all at one go continuously. You create hundreds of these droplets all in a single file, walking along calmly, and the chemistry happens inside them. And then we look at what's happening inside the chemistry using things like spectrophotometers and connected to computer. Machine learning algorithms can in fact direct us towards that part of the search space where you are more likely to find the desired outcome. And that is entirely uh, algorithmic and it's something where the hardware interacts with the software and tells you what to do next. That, that takes away the trial and error aspect and tremendously accelerates the way we do chemistry. There's a need for new accelerated methods for making new magnetic materials which will meet the next generation applications. We want to develop high throughput methodologies using experimental techniques, using artificial intelligence, using machine learning, using first principles calculations, high throughput calculations, so that what was done in a period of 30 years can be done in two to three years. We now have new materials which have both good mechanical properties, good magnetic properties, good electrical properties. So our success is basically in the identification and the development 
biosynthesis, property evaluation, processing, and performance evaluation. What we really want to do is to make tools that use machine learning, high throughput experimentation, available democratically to everybody. Right? If you really want to accelerate materials research, our tools can help you augment the speed at which you do the research. The tools that we make available, hopefully will be open source, should have data provided to everybody, and should be easy to use. We have startups coming out of our program, for example, that use these tools. Uh, we have applications where we actually help uh, multinational corporations accelerate their workflows. We actually have small, medium enterprises who do not know how to collect data efficiently and our tools help them to sample the parameter space more efficiently. So the vision really is to provide tools to the global community of research that, so that we can accelerate materials research everywhere.